Welcome back to uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. This is Hyper, and let me tell you a story about the Grey Gardens. Last time we were er, exploring in the grounds, but now it is time to face the Lord of Grey Gardens. Riker's Rest. Okay, journal. Hmm. Speaking in fork tongues. As you approach, the salamander turns its head away, twisting its snout into the air. It ref Hmm. Interesting. Level 14. What is his stat spread? Vulnerable to earth skills. High intelligence, so probably a wizard of some kind. Huntsman, necromancer, leadership. A balanced skill spread, but one that's dictated by a team built. Hmm. A visitor. Such a rare and exquisite pleasure. The elf tilts his head backwards, but his squinted eyes don't stray from yours. Call me Riker, and I shall call you Ifan, yes? Such fortune that a fellow lone wolf would cross my path purely by chance. Poker faced? Ask if you've met before. Why, the stories are legendary, my good man. As you must have known of me from Lupine Tales, so do I know of you. Any lone wolf would recognize the Silver Claw on sight. To meet you is a great honor. I suspect you know yourself by yet another name, however. Godwoken. Nod slowly. How did he know you were Godwoken? Oh, Ifan. Your reputation surely precedes you. Do you suppose you pass through this land unnoticed? No, no, we've been causing quite, quite the carnage. I also see you are not yet whole. He presses a slender forefinger against his tight lips and hums. Hmm. I'm not a generous man, but I could give you what you seek if you offer something in return. A... Fair exchange between one wolf and another? Ask what he wants from you. You must go to the Black Pits. There's a cavern there. In it, you'll find a stone tablet of considerable value. Mm. He points to the location on your map. Bring it to me. Dizziness. It lasts just a moment, but long enough for you to feel Ralik's presence. You hear no words, yet understand. It's imperative you accept Riker's bargain. The episode passes. Riker is peering at you intently. He awaits your reply. Ask what this tablet does. It's a miracle of the ancients. Priceless, really, and powerful enough to draw the Magister's attention. I won't bore you with further detail. Suffice it to say, it is safer in my hands than in theirs. Hmm. Say you're intrigued, but what is it that you get out of this deal exactly? I would think that obvious, my good fellow. You're dying to show off those smoldering talents of yours. You just don't know how to handle them. I can help you with that. 
I can share my bond with the source with you. Fill your well to the brim. Make you a master. The rest of the story, well, it's yours to write. Wonder why he just doesn't get it himself. Oh, but heading to the Black Pits would mean tangling with more magisters. And they're such a nuisance. I like keeping my hands clean, you see. Ponder his words. What does he plan to do with his tablet? Riker's lips stretch and his cheeks bulge. But you couldn't rightly call his unusual grimace a smile. I'm a man of taste, as you no doubt see. A relic this significant would make an incredible addition to my collection. Don't deny an old wolf his simple pleasures. <laughs> promise it will be done. A promise you'd best fulfill. Riker bows his head deeply. Then you'll have the power you seek, if not the power that trumps it. There will always be one greater, you know. Now please, don't let me keep you. Hmm. Interesting. Main real reason why we took the deal is because... Franker is a bit of a hard customer at the moment. What's here? Sacrificial chest and a skeleton. Elven sword. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to be heading to the Black Pits next. go back to the Driftwood Square and get some supplies for our expedition. Hmm. That and I think I haven't turned in the quest about Mortis yet. Get out there before Mortis makes it all the way past Arx. Report that you met Mortis and bested him. Show him show his amulet as proof. Lohar takes the amulet and turns it over in his hand. He pockets it matter of factly. What did you find in the cave? Tell him what you saw. Dead dwarves, Void Woken, a sorcerer gone mad. Dead. More dead. And Mordus with them. I owe ya. Whole realm owes you, really. But I'll do my best to settle that debt myself. Take this key. Necked it from the Whites. It opens a chest in the Magister Barracks, second floor. Be careful getting out here. If they spot ya, it'll be lights out. Should be some good stuff in there, though. Real good. Tell him you found evidence of death fog in the cave. Say that you have experience with death fog. Bad experience. I guess there's no hiding it now. It's like this. I didn't sign up to move death fog. Other weapons, even soul forged weapons, sure. But death fog? <laughs> Absolutely not. When we found the bomb on a magister's ship, I was told to ship it to Arx along with the rest of the stuff. But. I couldn't. I didn't want my people to have it any more than theirs. Nothing good can come of death fog. Nothing. Agreed. 
Mordor's disagreed, obviously. But thanks to you, he's dead. I'll go destroy the Death Fog Bomb myself. Make sure no one can get their hands on it. Ever. Tell him there wasn't any Death Fog Bomb in the cave. What do you mean? Do you mean... My gods, were we too late? You need to get to Arx as quickly as possible. That's where she's planning to use it. What have we done? Promise Lelhar you'll go to Arx and deal with this bomb. I don't deserve your kindness. I should have told you before. I just... No, I've got no excuse. I'm gonna do what I can to stop the Queen. I suggest you try the same. Get to Arx. End this before Justinia does. There'll be a wedding in full swing by the time you arrive. A girl named Isla and some do-nothing type. Her father's well placed, though. If anyone knows where to find the Queen, it's him. Mikhail Ross is his name. Tell him I sent you. Arx, wedding, Mikhail Ross. Got that? Off with you then. Time ain't on our side. Cool. Cool. Face the barrel helmet. You don't go blind after all that. That's cool looking. Why you gotta make this hurt ya? Okay, with that done, the next bit on our shopping list is a source power for Losa. And res scrolls for the entire party. I still find it funny that at the magisters have their barracks right next to the maester's house. Wish him well and step yep, away. Yep. Smells worse over there here we go. than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Okay. Here's the black pits. Hmm. I don't come visit your ton. Who will? So we would need to start here. Bring the Grey Garden. Go north. There's a lot of Past this farmhouse. Jock, what do I offer nothing less than the wisdom of the ancients? Ah, 
We're going to have to go to the Paradise Downs. Never I don't think the helping of head. I think. Paces back and forth, puffing anxiously on a pipe. His face is creased with tiredness. The faint coppery hue of dried blood stains his hands. He sees you. If you're looking for healing or the like, then you'd best look elsewhere. My... my plate is full for now. Note the lingering traces of blood on his hands and ask what is preoccupying him. The man chomps on the bit of his pipe, generating a small cloud of nervous smoke. Finally, he plucks it from his mouth and clears his throat. I came by a new patient, a young woman, very troubled. I'll do what I can for her, but I'll need to concentrate. And that means... He gestures with his pipe for you to leave. Offer to help. This isn't someone with a broken leg who needs to be held still. This is serious and dangerous. I doubt you could help. Insist that you have a keen eye and a sharp mind. You could be of use to him. Ugh. Fine. You can help. Take this key and go to the cellar. I'll join you there. Just... Be careful. It's clear she's a powerful sorcerer, but also whatever she was subjected to has warped her in body and mind. I have her locked up for good reason. Ready to flee, if necessary. Hmm. An elementalist. Interesting. We need to get closer. Then maybe I can sedate her. Okay. Let's put... Why someone do this to another person? Hide Be ready to flee the corner. if necessary. Across the cellar, a shape bearing some resemblance to a woman lurches around to face you. It utters a marrow curdling gurgle. She senses us. Be calm and quiet. No sudden moves. In low tones, what at the hell is wrong with her? Be careful. If you alert her, she'll... Another gurgle, sharper, angrier. Then the sound of rapid footfalls rushing towards you. Okay. Let's see what's happening here. Natalie's despair. With the fire. Hmm. Interesting. Anguish. With air damage.
first time? These are summons, so the Pondor would be a good option. Okay, the condor is boosted. Pull FM back. Okay. Now, time to buff up Sybil. Okay. Move beast there. Haunt. And... Horrify. Time to start picking on the fear. Anguish is the next big threat here. There we go. Thank you. 
Okay. The real problem here is not killing beast here. But since that's not really a desirable goal. Broken source collar. Hmm. Poor thing. The gods must be in a bad humor to let this happen to her. He fishes out his pipe and tries to spark it alight with some flint. His trembling hands make it difficult work. He shoves the to hell with the gods. I'm going to see what I can learn from this poor girl before I give her a proper burial. Maybe it'll help me save the next one. Ask the healer what he can learn from her remains. Well... He rolls up his sleeves and produces a surgeon's knife. Only one way to find out. Leave me be now. I have work to do. Hmm. That was an interesting fight. But again, the main real issue in that whole fight was that's keeping beast alive what's that it sounds like there's a battle unfolding nearby in this fight is Sybil. So let's make sure Sybil is high as a kite.
Okay. It's one of those moments where you... Where it would be more useful to... Be able to... Maneuver with... The... With the healer, so we can actually, you know, heal. Save this axeman. Okay. That void touch void open. My thanks for your help. He takes a pull from a water canteen, then splashes some over his blood-stained hands. Say that he's welcome and ask if that's his blood. No, it ain't mine. A saucer of fugitive was hiding here. Some of the locals were stupid enough to help him. We got a tip off, but he wasn't willing to go quietly. These void woken appeared thanks to him. It was messy. A lot of the locals didn't make it, and those that did? Well, there's a price for helping sorcerers. Muse that if the sorcerers weren't being he hounded in the first place, then uh, this might may have happened. Any trace of gratitude for your help against the Void Woken drains away in an instant. Take my advice and don't say another word, hear me? Sorcerers brought this plague down on us. Them, and the sort of folk who see fit to help them. They'll all get what they deserve. You can join them if you like. Otherwise, you can shut your trap. Let the matter drop and turn to leave. Good choice. Now make another good choice and don't let me see you around here. Hmm. Okay. Time to get that pyramid.
people were slain by blades, not void woken. Magister dogs. Tempting to use Lohar's hammer. I'll give you fair warning, stranger. Turn around and get out of here unless you want to end up like this treacherous filth. He throws a kick into the ribs of a nearby corpse. Glance at the nearby bodies and ask what they did to deserve this. What they did deserved a lot worse than what they got. This lot were sorcerer sympathizers. Good magisters died thanks to the one they were hiding. He gestures around at the void woken wrought destruction in the area. They forced our hand. We've got to do whatever's necessary to hold the rot at bay. <sighs> that he can frame this however he likes. You won't let him get away with murder. Fool, you could have just walked away. There we go. Would Chameleon Cloak counter the time? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Good. From here. Losa's job is still to buff Sybil. And to buff Beast. 
lit frost on her. Like, it's weakness. We can batter ram root down. Now if we uh, just keep knocking this thing at this brute, Sybil will get extra AP. Back on the Inquisitor. that watcher and that fight well that turn
closer. Okay, finish off the Watcher. Kinda chipping at that execution. to the bow.
press them. Now, let's get that tongue lashing out of the way. We did fail these people. Can you untie me? Cut the rope. That bind Thank her. you. Her tear-stained cheeks quiver as she surveys the blood-spattered floorboards. It's like a bad nightmare. Except, you never wake up. The young man grunts as he fruitlessly tries to free his hands from the heavy knotted rope. Can't Ice. free. He looks to his slain brother's body. His eyes well with tears, though none break free. We didn't deserve this. We didn't deserve any of this. But please, don't go. The grieving mother manages a thin smile, even as tears stream down her ruddy face. Thank you, stranger. She blinks out more tears, then rubs them away with the back of her hand and puts on the bravest of faces. To lose a child, it's a mother's worst fear. I never imagined. Express your horror. Did they intend to execute her children before her very eyes? It was more than just intention. Her eyes moved to the young corpse laid near. Then... I started with my youngest. Henry! So full of life! Bow your head. If only you had done more. I'm grateful for your sympathy. But it's not your burden to bear. It's true, you know. What the Magister said. My brother's boy, Gideon. He's got source in him. Now that his folks are gone, we've all he's got. We thought we could keep him safe. He's not got a spot of malice. He can't help who he is. But when the Magisters came snooping, he panicked. We all did. She glances at the Magister corpse and shivers. Another tear drips down her cheek. Shouldn't have let that Hanag woman near Gid. She said she could teach him, but that's when all the trouble started. State that she is very courageous and to be willing to sacrifice so much. Her mouth falls open, but she does not respond. Instead, she shakes and sobs. As soon as the Magister fell, Gid knew what he'd do. They didn't even struggle when they dragged him away. Gods know where they took him. I've already lost more than I can bear today. I pray to the Seven I haven't lost him too. Tell her you'll look for Gadwin. You will? Oh, bless you. Bless you. She ekes out another thin smile. Make sure he's safe. And if you can, bring him back to me. The bereaved father weeps uncontrollably. Hmm. Writ of passage. Lace scaled helmet. Sharp looking. cipher or if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and have a good day